Hello and welcome. My name is Felix and today we will show you how to get started with OS profiling using the Vector Assistant Timing Bundle. If you have looked into timing analysis before, you know that recording trace data is not a trivial process. A couple of factors such as the microcontroller, operating system and debug interface make always every setup unique and require a different configuration. To avoid these headaches, we have created the Vector Assistant Timing Bundle to get you started with timing analysis of Vector microservice applications in less than 7 minutes. The Timing Bundle enables you to analyze your first operating system trace immediately. You can look at the data in the System Minute Analyzer or the Vector TA Inspection. Of course, you can also adapt the Timing Bundle to your application and we will demonstrate how to do that in a separate video. Let's get started. First, we need to download the Timing Bundle via the link in the description of this video. We then extract the Timing Bundle archive in a directory of our choice and change into the newly created directory. As you can see, there are two batch files. One to run the WinIDEA Analyzer and the other one to run the TA Inspection. Let's start with WinIDEA. To run the batch script, we need to point it to our WinIDEA installation. Switch into your system installation directory and copy the whole path to your WinIDEA installation. Make sure you use a recent version of WinIDEA. 9.17.175 or later is a good choice. Once you have copied the path, open the run iSystem winidia.bat script and update the winidia path variable in line 3 by pasting the path you've just copied. You can now run the batch file by double clicking it. The script uses the iSystem trace configuration helper itchy to create a so called profiler XML and instrumentation files. Next, it starts WinIDEA and opens the recording of a microservice sample application. You can analyze the task in ISRs running on six different cores. You can also filter for objects on a specific core. In this case, we can see the task, ISRs and runnables running on core 3. Lastly, we can also take a look at the statistics of the demo application. When you close WinIDEA, you will see that the script has also created a BTF trace export. We can now use the Vector TA inspection to analyze the BTF trace. Note that the timing bundle includes a BTF trace. So you can also use the run vector TA inspection batch script without running the WinIDEA one. In either case, before we run the TA inspection, we have to point the script to the TA2 suite directory. In my case, it's under C, TA, TA2 suite, and then it's the TA2 suite x86.64 directory. Copy the path and paste it into the TATS underscore path variable. Ensure that there is a trailing slash at the end of the path, as shown in the video. You can now save the file and run the batch script. The script imports the PDF trace file into the vector TA inspection and calculates various timing metrics for it. Once the import is finished, the script opens the TA2 suite with the correct workspace. You can now select the trace import in the model selector and open it in the TA inspection perspective. You can now examine the trace in the Gantt chart, look at process statistics and do further kinds of analysis. For example, you could look at the runnables that are executed by a particular task. In this case, we enable the runnable view for task user task 100 milliseconds course 0, as shown in the video. And that's it for today. Have fun analyzing this Microsoft based application using the Vector iSystem Timing Bundle. Feel free to reach out to Vector or iSystem if you have any questions or comments. Bye!